Time now for a trip to Goss's Garage. This week, Pat has tips for those looking for a little open road recreation. John, a lot of people are considering buying motorhomes or RVs these days. Now, to help us sort through some of the complexities of this, we have Mr. Dave Humphreys of RVIA. Hi, Dave. Hi, Pat. All right. Now, number one thing, what should they be looking for? Well, I think the, the main thing is you want to be sure the vehicle's properly built. And the best test for that is to look for the RVIA seal. It says right on it that the manufacturer is building to a national code. It's 100 pages long. And we have our own inspectors who go out and make sure they do it right. Okay, now this is going to be after they've decided what they need and what they want, right? That's right, you bet. Got to do some research first. Important. Now, one of the things that I noticed on this, and it shows the, the thought that goes into them today, is the rounded top on the door. Well, it's a very practical reason. When you open that door, if somebody lowers the awnings, you have a ruined awning. Mm -hmm. So it's a simple solution to an annoying problem. The step was something else that I liked. <laughs> it comes out automatically and it goes back automatically. Well, it used to be a problem because people would drive off with them extended and crash. Right, curbs don't like steps. Okay, let's go inside and take a look. Okay. Now, one of the things in here that we've heard horror stories about on much older vehicles were the slide outs, that they were unreliable and had all kinds of problems. Is that still the situation? No, the slide outs when they first came out weren't really, whoa, there it goes. Now they're great. In fact, I can even sit on it. It'll just keep right on going. We could have several other people. Uh-huh. So they've addressed all of the problems and They're powder. very popular, very strong. They don't leak. What about activation if the vehicle is moving? Well, we have a safety, uh, several safety features. There's a latch that you uh, fix right here. Mm-hmm. So it won't come out uh, accidentally. But we also have to have the emergency brake on before that switch over there will work. Gotcha. And this really extends the room in here. Well, if you like a big kitchen, that's how you get it. You right. move the other wall out and it really gives you the whole eating area in the kitchen much, much better. Now, the other thing I understand is that you can tailor these to whatever your taste is as far as the decor. That's right. Uh, we find that styles change. Uh, light wood is in right now, so we're providing light wood and the ladies help us with what the fabric should be. So it's an interior decorating challenge, and the industry is very, very flexible. But if they want different floor treatments or something, that's I think you'll easily find, doable. Absolutely. If you compare this industry to the automobile industry, these are custom-made vehicles okay. by the standard. Now, one other thing is the roof. A lot of people like to get on these and watch races and so on. Right. Is that a concern? Well, it is, and I think it's the kind of thing a person should be very careful about. That's sort of a specialized uh, issue. And some of these have reinforced roofs and some don't. So I would say to the consumer, ask the dealer very carefully about how you intend to use it and be sure that it meets your requirements. And some of them also have railings. That's right. Well, yeah, we don't want anybody falling off. So if you really want to do it right, you should have railings and a reinforced roof. Now, where could they get more information? Probably the best place to go is an industry-wide uh, website called GoRVing.com. There's more there than you can imagine about the whole industry. Help them do their homework. You bet. Thanks, Dave. And if you have a question or a comment, write to me. If I use your letter, I'll send you a MotorWeek t-shirt. The address is MotorWeek, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117.